Hey guys, this commentary is on YouTube user Angry Soldier 100, and it is his video sharing his thoughts on women. I actually haven't watched this one yet, so for all I know, we might have another Models Hidden 2 on our hands, but you know, let's see. Hello, ladies. Oh. Hi. Well, I'm finally done. I'm sick and tired of your shit. Are you switching teams? I just can't do it anymore. I can't. You know, my doctor told me my cholesterol was kind of high and I should watch my beef intake, but, uh... Fuck, I'll take you medium rare. Here I am, sitting in my bathtub. Oh, God. I don't know if you can see this. Sitting... <laughs> sitting in my bathtub. <laughs> Sorry, I thought that might be my junk there. No, it's okay, you can move the hand. Um... I'm done. I'm done with the games, I'm done with... You all want a relationship. You have like CeeLo Green midget baby hands. But none of you are willing to work on one. I don't know why. It's, it's games to you ladies, I don't understand. I've had more offers for sex in the last two weeks than I had in the last year. Well, nigga, add one more to the list. And I said no. Just no, I, I, I'm not doing it. Don't say no, just live more, don't say... Hi, Nikki. I'm not getting sucked into that trap yet again. I'll fucking suck you. God, I hope my mom doesn't watch this. Last night my ex called me. She's like, we should go and hang out. I'm like, sure, sure. She said, can we get a bite to eat? I'm like, yeah, yeah, we can get a bite to eat. So I go to pick her up and uh, I text her on the side of her house. I'm like, yeah, I'm here. She's like, yeah, um, I already ate. I'm like, okay. She's like, uh... And her boyfriend ate her. Ladies, do you know what you're missing? Do you have any idea besides my deep bathtub? Because it's quite deep. Is there room for one more? Um, uh, make sure my, my junk ain't hanging out here. Um... Yeah, that would be a d disaster. <laughs> it's a big deep tub. Yes, and there's bubbles. I have bubbles. And Epsom salts. Isn't Epsom salt used to treat hemorrhoids? Like, the thing, like, afterwards you have to sit on a donut? Because I'll fucking have you sitting on a donut. My nice guy who likes to cook. Meth. I like to travel. But yet, do you think I can find a good woman? I can't. I can't. Either bar stars or they're a complete total head case. I'd sooner hang out here in my deep tub, read a good book, enjoy a cup of tea, coffee, scotch. Scotch? Well, alcohol is the only thing separating a straight man and a gay man. Whatever. I just can't deal with you anymore. I can't. I can't. I wish you all the best of luck. But if you keep going the way you are, ladies, you're gonna drive all the good men away. And we're leaving you. We are. Ladies, keep doing it, because you're just driving them towards me. I would sooner spend time with my dog and a cold beer from my nice warm fireplace than have to deal with the craziness. And you're all thinking, well, can't screw your dog or a beer. You're not trying hard enough. But you know what? It's really not that important to me. It's not. Oh, and before you say that I'm totally a hypocrite because I'm already in a monogamous relationship, well, I'm sure we can work something out. I've said no to two women in the last week. But how many truckers did you say yes to? And they get fucking crazy when you say no. They don't know how to take it. So instead, they go screw some random guy. They go to a bar and screw some random guy. Like, that's gonna work out. It usually does for me. Sorry, Mom and Dad. Yeah, you're gonna find a deep, committed really Ooh, did you see that on his shoulder? He has ink. Oof. Trust me. Been there, done it when I was younger. Not gonna work. So you're experienced? So where do we go from here? Nigga, from here we go to a fucking hotel room. I have an ad on Plenty of Fish, and I'll leave it up for next week. Is that what you call a gathering of lesbians? Plenty of Fish? Anyway, I wish you all the best of luck. Do you want to making fuck? Berserker! But ladies, if you keep playing the games that you're playing now, you're gonna be alone with your nine cats. Gotta keep tabs on that pussy. Us good guys are here, we just can't seem to find the good woman. You could always settle because, like, I am no catch. Not gonna work out for you. Trust me. Sleeping with a bunch of random men? Hey, if that's your thing, 
go nuts. Chlamydia, you know, cures only what four pills on a needle. I know. Did you know that if you sleep with a Middle Eastern guy, you will not get any STDs because like the spices like curry and stuff are strong enough to kill any disease? Screwed an 18 year old. Bad, bad, bad. Oh, I should mention that I am of age. Trust me, I turned 18 in August, so, you know. <laughs> what else? <sighs> yeah. Just done. Is that fucking Muse playing in the background? Just done. So, ladies. If you're looking for a good man and you want to keep a good man, three simple things you should do. Basement, chains, locks. Suck his dick. I know that sounds terrible, but you should. Okay, so far so good. There's nothing worse than have to beg for a blowjob. Nigga, you won't have to beg. Act like you're interested in them sometimes. Okay, uh, let me try. Okay. What do we do next? God, you're interesting. So ladies, I have a fleshlight, and I'm not afraid to use her. God, I'm gonna go look up wasted potential in the dictionary, and I know exactly what I'm gonna find. Um, you never know. I might find someone who might change my mind, but you know what? I'm 39, and I doubt it. 30, flirty, and thriving. You guys have a great night. I'm gonna enjoy some, uh, some bubbles here. Okay, so one hand is behind his head, the other hand is holding the camera, so unless he has a third arm, we might get a sneak peek. I don't know if you can see the bubbles. So, <laughs> that's, uh, that's my junk, you don't need to see that. Um, yeah, that'd be tragic. Just fucking move the hand. Is it bubbles? Is it bubbles? Does he do nothing? Does he do nothing? Oh! Girl, we saw it! Don't flag this. So, so yeah. I'm gonna hang out in my big deep tub and, uh, oh, you can almost see it. Almost see it. <laughs> This is like trying to spot the witch at the end of the Blair Witch Project. Um, yeah. If I do end up moving in with you, either those tiles go or I do, because I'm not going to be playing checkers on your bathroom wall. I'd sooner hang out with, um, hang on, hang on. Jordan, Pharaoh. Jordan, Pharaoh. Fucking like two chickens come running into the bathroom. <laughs> They're much too busy. My two dogs. Anyway. Oh! Speak of the devil. Holy fuck, it's the mole people from The Descent! So, um... Yeah. Goodbye, ladies. It's been a pleasure. So, that might have been the gayest thing I ever have and ever will make. So... Um... Before I end this video, as I'm gonna be doing with the rest of my commentaries from now on, I'm going to be playing a quick promotion for my Patreon ad because I am a leech for money. Hey guys, currently I am partnering with Patreon.com, which is the best way to support the content creators online that you love. The way you sign up is you enter in your financial information, and every time that I release a new video, you are going to be giving a small donation. You can choose how much you want to donate, you set your own limit, and you can even set a maximum amount. Patreon is not Kickstarter. You do not give a large donation. You only pay after I release the video. Now, this doesn't mean that I'm going to start charging for my videos, but this is the best way to support all the changes that I have planned for this year. The donations that I receive from Patreon will go to support my uh, convention and festival reporting videos as well as a new online comedy web series that I've been working on for quite some time. Patrons, who are the people who have signed up to donate, will receive perks that non-patrons don't have. Being a patron would be the best way to make my videos even better in 2014, so hopefully you sign up. The link is in the description.